Yes, yeah, uh, I feel like that um, Joy Greenlaw really stepped up more after that game, you know, uh, just because he's injured, you know, he still showed that he's still part of his team, you know, he still, and, and, it, and it shows his, his compassion that he has, you know, um, um, I feel like that a lot of guys uh, really responded well to that, you know, and um, I feel like that we are, we are, we are all are on the same page right now, you know, going forward. I didn't see Dre out there early. Did he come later in practice or anything? Was he able to do anything today? Uh, no, today Dre didn't. I don't believe Dre participated in practice today. He, you know, his, his ankle is getting better. You know, he's just trying to make sure he's on the caution side for the most part. I know it sounds like an excuse, but it's not. But did that get to you guys? Because you dominated them for two and a half quarters on defense, and then all of a sudden it kind of, the last four series they scored, did, did the out to you? Did get to you guys at all? Um, if it did, you know, uh, all I can say is at the end, we have to make sure that we, we got to stay locked in. Um, it did shock us because, it, you know, it did, hey, it, it reminded us, it did, you know, but we can't have a type of mentality. You know, regardless of what, we got to make sure that we keep our, our foot on, on, on people's necks when they're down, man. And, you know, that's the name of the game, you know, regardless of what, man. The, the game is number one. Obviously, we showed that, you know, leading all the way up to the fourth quarter and they made a comeback, man. So. You know, we gotta keep our foot on their neck, man, and, and we, we can't we can't we can't sit here and think that the game's ever over, especially not in college football and D1 now. Is there any specific any specific things that the secondary is working on this week to make sure that you know you don't get beat over the yeah. top? Yeah, we gotta make sure we discipline. You know, start with me. You know, we gotta make sure we discipline. We gotta make sure our eyes are good. If we not discipline, our eyes aren't good. We are gonna always you know but have busted coverages, and we can't afford that in the secondary. You know, we last line defense. So those two main things they're working on this week. Does it seem like it's week after week, people are spreading it and slinging it? It's the same kind of stuff every week? Yeah, it, it's pretty much the, the, the game of football nowadays. Uh, you know, everybody going to the to the spread or the RPO, you know, they're trying to air the ball out. And you no know, Texas is no different. You know, they can go to a spread, you know, and they run a little run pass option two as well. So, you know, we got to make sure that we on our P's and Q's once again, man. It's not going to be a slack off. Um, in the passing game, you know what I'm saying, no matter what team play this year. So we have to make sure that, you know, we're on our, we our beat team. How quick is their tempo and how quick does their quarterback like to release? Uh, he, he's a gunslinger. I'm not going to lie. He is a gunslinger back there, you know, and they can run tempo if they want to. You know, they'll slow down if they want to as well. But for the most time, they, they try to get you on your toes. So we have to, well, we, we're pretty prepared for that, you know, going against a lot of up tempo, up tempo teams and our offense running up tempo. So I feel like we got some great work in with that. And uh, I feel like we're going to be ready. But for the most part, man, we gotta make sure that we discipline the back end. We have we, we have to have great eyes as much.